Hey everybody! So, if you've watched more than just this video, you know I look a little different. Um, I got my hair did, so no more crazy like regrowth that makes me look cray cray. My hair is all, you know, the way it's supposed to look. Plus, I got bangs. So, I'm pretty excited. It was super scary and I may have cried a little, I'm gonna be honest, because when you're trying to grow out your hair and there's some girl in the salon who is like a teenager or some crap, like way younger than you and her hair is down to her waist and thick and gorgeous and you're like super jealous and then you're sitting in the chair and you just feel the hair fall. <laughs> like, I had a slight moment, I'm not gonna lie, but I really love the way this looks. Like it's completely different for me. It's not anything that I've ever done before. So it's taking some getting used to, we'll admit, but uh, I love I love the way it turned out. So I'm super excited. And she fringed it a little bit, like on the sides, just a little bit, so that when I pull my hair back in a ponytail, then I've got kind of that like face shapingness, you know, where it's not just girl in a ponytail. Lame. So anyway, I'm super excited about that. And then today's video is um, Target just released some new like subscription boxes, but they're not really like a subscription. They released some of their like sample type boxes in store where you could like go to the store and get them as opposed to trying to like get in line online because they have an online subscription box that I think is pretty, I'm pretty sure it's every month but it's not a recurring thing. And so you have to be there at the first of the month before everybody else. And apparently it's really popular because I've never been able to get one. So I was really excited when they did this and they put it out last week, not this past week, but last week, week before last. So like a good, almost week and a, like almost, like a week and a half ago, it's almost two weeks. They released it, I think like Wednesday of the week before last. And I called my store about them and they were out. I was like, ah! But I was able to get them this past Friday before my hair appointment. And well, I got one. Um, I got two for the bestie. Um, I did just get one. I got the one that is wake up and makeup. I'm pretty excited about it. I do kind of know what's in it because they do list everything on the back of them, um, which is why I only picked up one. Um, the other three, one of them is also fairly makeup heavy, but it's got some hair products in it. Um, and not much of it is cruelty free. I think there might be one elf product in it, but the rest of it's, um, Nexus and some other things that are not cruelty free. There's a couple of things in this one that are not cruelty free, but there was more that was. So I went ahead and picked it up. Um, and then there was one that was mostly bath products and I don't really take baths. So I skipped on that one. And then there was one that was all face masks. Like it was like, there were a bunch of face masks in it, but they were all face masks. And I like face masks. I use them if I get them in like Ipsy or Sephora, but they're not my favorite thing to do. They're not anything that I get super excited about. Um, I don't know if it's just cause I don't use them often enough. I don't feel like, you know, like my face might feel moisturized afterwards, but it's not anything that, I don't know. I haven't found enough from them to be that excited about them. So I didn't pick up that one, but I did get this one. I'm super excited about it. And like I said, it's not a super surprise, but I figured I'd open it on camera anyway, because that makes it more fun. And it's been killing me all weekend because it's been, you know, Easter and all that. So I haven't, like, even if I wasn't filming, like I just haven't had time to open it yet. So much less to film opening it. So I'm really excited. It's just been sitting in my house all weekend. All right. Woo, I'm so excited. Okay. So, oh, these boxes are $7 in store and they did just this past um, week when they restocked. They also offered them online. So if you can't get them in store, look online and see if they still have them online for $7 for what's in them. Like even if you get one of the ones that I wasn't a huge fan of, like they're all a really, really good deal. Um, the bath one has a full size Burt's Bees lip gloss in it. And my um, that was one of the ones that I got for the bestie and she looked it up before she told me which ones to get her. And she said, 
the seven dollars almost is paid for just with the lip gloss so definitely look into them if you use any of the products in them oh it's like a little travel set so the first thing out of here which is pretty much like the reason that i got the box because i figured this was pretty much worth the box to me or at least the majority of the box um is an elf blending brush and it's like short but that's good for me um it's something i can stick in the bag that i take to work with me so because it's so short and cute this is so cute and it's got this like little plastic protector on it that i'm not gonna be able to figure out how to get off why oh there it goes oh it's almost like a contouring brush blood contouring brush shape oh it's really soft though it is really really soft i love that it's pretty densely packed but it's not like foundation brush densely packed um as you can kind of see and it's super soft elf makes good brushes so i'm pretty stoked about that and then the other thing that's from elf that again, like I probably got my money's worth in just the e.l.f. products, is the Natural Glow, ooh, light, Natural Glow Face Palette. And I'm fairly certain that I've heard good things about this palette. And I can't get it open. <laughs> no surprise there. Seriously, not from this side either. Okay, this is how we're doing this. You didn't see that. <laughs> Ooh, look at this nice little like packaging. Crap, you can almost use the packaging to like put your makeup on if you keep it clean, like, cause it is like mirrored hardcore. seem really pigmented we'll see I have to try them out with a brush and see um, but they're creamy feeling um, but it's two contour shades and two blush shades and they are um, lighter colors excuse all the crap on my table you just got to see there is a humongous mirror in here so even if I like use this as a compact like dang um, and they do not like I've I'm swatching the blushes and they don't seem to be super pigmented, um, but there is pigment there and there's, they feel fairly creamy. It doesn't look like I'm getting a lot of powder. There's a little bit when I dip a brush into it, um, but it's not crazy. So I'll have to try this with a brush on my face and see if it's any better or worse or what it looks like. You can kind of see there. Interesting. Maybe this isn't the palette that I've heard good things about. I don't know. But I'll try it out and we'll see. Um, things tend to look different on the face a lot of the time than on your hand. So we'll try that out and see. But it is, I do have another e.l.f. palette and I like e.l.f. does their, like, do you see where the squares are? If you have an e.l.f. palette, normally, if you're careful and don't break it, They pop out. Well, I swear they do. They pop out because I've popped my other ones out before. When I found out that they did it, I didn't know that that's what it, oh, there we go. What they did and I was like, <gasps> and I got really excited. <laughs> and so I played with them, but yeah. Oh, there we go. You just have to like press on this back pretty good. Um, it looks like they've got spots where you can like dig your fingernails in, but I can't fit my fingernails in them, so. I always press from the back, but they come out. So like I could take my other one, which is slightly different packaging, but it'd be okay. Um, if there's shades from this one that I like and vice versa, but not like one or two of the shades, you can pop them out and trade them out and that kind of stuff. So I like that a lot too. Um, let's see if I can get back in there without breaking it. Yay, and then it just pops right back in. 
So, very excited about that. And then, this is a full size. Holy crap. Okay, I've got Dove Dry Spray Invisible Antiperspirant, which Dove is not cruelty free. Where the Elf is, so I was super excited about it. Dove is not cruelty free. Um, I guess this is just their new spray deodorant or whatever. Um, I'll try this out and see, but I won't repurchase it because they're not cruelty free, which sucks. And then the other Dove product is a little thing of dry shampoo, which even though Dove is not cruelty free, again, I won't repurchase. Um, but this is a decent little travel size, so it'll be nice to have. And then um, we got something from Honest Beauty, which it doesn't list on the back. But I want to say I've looked them up and they are cruelty free. I will double check that and list everybody's status in the description box per the usual. Could have sworn. I don't know what. It never says. I don't like that. Like if you're cruelty free, put it on there. It helps you. Um, but it's just some um, makeup remover wipes. It says there's seven in here. So it's a little travel size. But again, like to throw in your purse or a bag or a backpack or you know, I don't have kids, but your kid's bag or whatever. Perfect. And then there is a full size CoverGirl Peacock Flare, which again, CoverGirl is not cruelty free. So I'll try it out. Might just end up giving it to the bestie. Um, but this is a humongous tube. Like, where am I supposed to store this ginormous tube? And the brush is this big. Do you see that? It's got one of those teeny rubber brushes that I don't like and a humongous tube. So there had better be a crap ton of product in here, which I highly doubt to be worth this humongous tube. Like, I don't know if it's just cause I'm used to like little trial size tubes, but even like my like full size that I have from Tarte, but Tarte is not this like thick. I don't know, it is very pretty, it's very shiny, but I'm not a huge fan of the rubberized things. Although, I will say the Tarte one that I have that's got that tiny little rubber, um, the Lash Paint Mascara, I've been using it on top of the, um, shoot, what's the brand? I just got that mascara in, um, BoxyCharm, the mascara that I got in BoxyCharm, that humongous tube, <laughs> that's a humongous tube, but it was like thin but long, um, of mascara I got. I've been using it first because it's that brushel brush that I like that separates my um, eyelash hairs pretty good. And then I've been using the lash paint on top of it and I really like that. It just bumps up that other mascara a little bit and it takes two kind of mediocre mascaras that are good but not fantastic and like makes them up both a little bit better. Cause then when I apply that lash paint one, they don't clump together as much because they're already like separated. I'm a fan, it's what I have on today. I like the combination. And then from Sonia Kashuk, which again, I'm pretty sure she's cruelty free because I've almost bought some of her brushes before. Um, this is just a quick dry makeup brush wipe. So this is to like, if you're reusing a brush just to quickly like clean it off so that you're not getting product on. So I'm kind of excited to try that because I'm terrible, terrible about washing my brushes. I'm not a wash my brush every day kind of girl. I'm not even a wash my brush every week kind of girl. So, oh, and there's a little um, thing in here that talks about everything that's in here and a little bit like tips to use them and stuff. Ooh, and then there's coupons. So there's a $1 off Dove deodorant, a $1 off Dove hair care, and a $3 off of Honest Beauty purchase, $15 or more. So that's pretty exciting. Um, yeah, super exciting. And we opened up one of um, Courtney's boxes, the other box that she got with the best stuff in it, just to kind of look at it real quick when she picked her boxes up. And she had a ton of coupons in hers. So, um, keep that in mind too. If you're gonna, if you think you might repurchase any of the products, um, there are also coupons in most of the boxes. And if you look online at the boxes, it lists what coupons are inside of it. It does not list them on the box though. 
So if you want to know beforehand what coupons you're getting, look online, even if you're buying in store. Um, yeah, so that's what I got. Um, and I did get this one. I know I've got three products that I know are not cruelty free, um, but I also have two products that I know are cruelty free and two more that I'm pretty sure are cruelty free. So if I'm right, I've got four products that are and three that aren't. And I thought that was worth, you know, the $7 um, to get things that are cruelty free so that I can try them out. The two from e.l.f. are full size. Um, and I will use the other ones even though I don't, like the Dove's not cruelty free. But, um, and the mascara will probably go to the Bessie just because I have a ton of mascara. They're not cruelty free. And I don't like that applicator. So, goodies for her. <laughs> so anyway, that is today's video. Uh, I hope you guys had a fantastic Easter and I'll talk to you later.